thing is about motivation and it's based on Rick Lavoie's book, Batteries Not Included. Is it a teacher's job simply to communicate information, facts, and concepts to their class? Or are they also responsible to motivate their students? What do we do with students who come into the classroom and are not motivated to work? There are many myths that have to do with motivation in the classroom. The first motivation is that nothing motivates a certain student. This cannot be true because all human behavior is motivated. If you have a student with their head on the desk and they're refusing to participate, is it fair to say that the student is unmotivated? No, because the student is motivated to sit in the back of your classroom with their head on the desk. That is what's motivating that student. They may be motivated to avoid failure, prevent their frustration, or even prevent angering the teacher. But all human behavior is motivated. So if we have a student who is sitting in the back of the classroom and isn't doing anything, they have misdirected motivation, and we need to learn how to motivate them to do what we want them to do, not to sit in the back of the room with their head in the desk. Another myth about motivation is that one day a student may be motivated, the next day that student is not motivated. Motivation is relative, so if you have a student in your classroom who is motivated in math, they are always, always motivated in math. Their day-to-day -day performance and their productivity and even their progress may vary, but you can't say that one day they're motivated and one day they're not. And when we have a student who comes in and does well, sometimes teachers use that against the teacher, against the student, and say that they actually, you know they must be motivated because they did it the day before. So you're holding the fact that they are at times successful against them just because they're not successful one day. Um, and Rick Lavoie, who wrote this book, would say that you can compare motivation in the classroom to a marriage where day to day you might be frustrated with your partner, but if you found that they were suddenly sick or ill, you would remember how much you love that person and how upset you are because your love is relevant, is constant even if, they're, even if the day to day feelings are not. And the last myth about motivation is that if you give a student something, that will motivate the student. Teachers try to use rewards as incentives, and that may influence their behavior, but it can't really um, influence motivation because motivation is constant. And the student may, may 